Well, we've enjoyed a fairly quiet night. It's been a little bit breezy from the north and temperatures cooling into the 30s, but they've steadied off thanks to a few clouds that were overhead earlier. 36 degrees with a north wind at 12 miles per hour in Fargo, Moorhead. The Grand Forks here, one degree cooler. Some of the milder temperatures today were up near Cavalier where they saw 50. It's 37 now, 35 in Jamestown. It was also 50 degrees for you in the Detroit Lakes area, 41 now, 33 in Bemidji at this hour. Radar showing a few blips on the screen. Here we see green where it's estimating rain. Pink would be a mixed uh, area of precipitation. Most of this not reaching the ground. And things starting to dry up a little bit here out in parts of western North Dakota as we head into the evening with the more robust snowfall down in western South Dakota this evening. If there is some sprinkles or flurries working their way down, or talking about that Barnes County area through Stutzman and south through Dickey and Lamore. That's where things are situated as we head to bed tonight. Overnight, most of the moisture stays out to the west. I think most of the area will stay dry as we go through the overnight with a north wind to start the day at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. We'll see some peaks of sunshine with most of the stormy weather remaining well to our south. If we have a chance of any flurry activity, it'll be generally in southeast North Dakota and along the South Dakota border. And this accumulations don't look to be too robust. Thanks to that, we'll see mild temperatures once again, just not as mild as we were today. We're expecting low 40s for many areas. Still a chance at near 50 up in that Cavalier area once again. Mid 40s for Detroit Lake. So be some windier conditions set up as this storm system works its way through Minnesota. And by the way, if you are traveling, uh, our South Dakota County so could see a trace of snow, maybe a couple areas getting an inch or so. But down along the Iowa border, southern Minnesota, that is where we have winter storm warnings and some could see a second punch after a long weekend of weather of four to eight inches of snow. 30 in Fargo to start the day. A mix of sun and clouds in the afternoon. I think we'll see more clouds than this, portray, uh, more sunshine than this portrays rather. North winds at about 15 miles per hour. We could see them robust up to around 20 miles per hour here and there. Temperatures around the region, once again, generally in the 40s for almost everyone with the best chance of flurries in the very early part of the day. Uh, if you can't beat them, join them, says Todd. And a shot here of uh, some folks on the snowmobiles out there enjoying a mid-April excursion on the flaky tundra. Hey, Thursday, we're going to go to work on some of that snow that's around the area. Fargo gets to 40. Some areas have some significant snow still on the ground, mainly to the north and west of Fargo, and those areas likely won't quite see 50 yet. We're talking Barnes and Griggs and Steel Counties. As we look through the weekend, though, it looks fantastic. From Friday on, a shot at 50 to 60 degree weather, heading right through the weekend into Monday when we could see some April showers of rain. That system doesn't look too potent at this time or wet, so temperatures stay near 60 degrees into Tuesday. All right, thanks much. You're welcome.